Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with some friend mail from Jenny. Um, Jenny actually lives pretty close to me, but she was so sweet, and she mailed me um, some of her stash, and I think some of her handmade polymer clay beads. Um, I'm gonna include her information in this video um, and in the description. If you see some beads that you really like, um, let her know. Uh, so the first thing I pulled out were actually some acrylic beads. There are a lot of them in this um, pastel AB color. Uh, so these are acrylic and I do use quite a bit of acrylic. I would probably use these as um, like a spacer or something in um, like just like one or two as a spacer to liven up a necklace. I love AB. You guys know that. <laughs> um, she sent me a huge canister of um, wood beads. I mean it's enormous. It's like 10 inches long. Uh, and I love wood beads. Those are great spacers. Thank you, Jenny. Those are so cute. Um, oh, here's some more of the um, acrylic beads. These are from, I think they're from Hobby Lobby. So I'll just put, see, that's the packaging they came in. I don't know if they still have those. They're so cute. I love those colors. Sorry, the lights are kind of putting a glare on there. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness. This was a big box. I got it out of my mailbox. I was like, oh my goodness. It's one of those big medium flat, priority flat rate boxes. So we've got a lot to go through. I can't believe you sent that much, Jenny. <laughs> um, oh, I'm seeing some really cool um, wood beads. So let me open these up because I, I can alter these. You can paint them. You can, these are really nice. You can paint them, you can um, cover them in polymer clay, so many different things. And I love um, altering beads. So those are fantastic. Thank you, Jenny. Um, in this bag, we also have some green beads. You guys know I love um, wood beads. I, I cannot wait to get some more of these Alex drawers. I have enough, but they're not the right size. So I haven't been able to um, organize that half of the room yet. And I, that's where my wood beads are. So I can't wait to finish that. Oh, I, some of, one of the bags was open and <laughs> it went flying. So we have some turquoise. Let me see. Oh, these are really nice. I don't think I have any in this shape, in this color. So that's really nice. Let's see. I like those. Those are really cute. You guys know I just love beads. <laughs> um, and then she sent the same, the ones that kind of went flying were purple. These would actually go with today's color challenge uh, colors. The colors for today, I think it's today, are powder blue, khaki, and aubergine or um, eggplant. So these would go really well with that. Um, next, oh, and then there's just like a little mix of different colors, including the ones I just showed you. So yellow, orange, green purple turquoise thank you jenny those are really nice i'll probably have fun sorting those and then they'll go in by color um what else do we have in here my goodness there's so much oh there's so much going on in here all right so i'm seeing let me seeing handmade and i'm seeing not handmade, <laughs> but I want to make sure that I focus on her handmade last because those are going to be the more the most special, of course. And those are art, right? So, oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I think some of these are might be Jesse James beads. These are gorgeous. This is a cute little mix. Very pretty. So these are in a bigger bag, but we have some. Sorry, guys. It's just a little dark with these lights lately. I don't know what's going on here. So we have a nice crystal. I love those crystals. I, am, I, I don't have any of these beads. Look, it's a nice metal bead with crystals on the inside. That's awesome. And some um, uh, acrylic plated cop, or cr copper plated acrylic. Um, what else is in this mix? Let's see here. Some more of these beads. These are really neat, Jenny. Did you get these from Jesse James Beads or somewhere else? Those are really cool. Some some big boy crystals, really nice. And then these are like these are acrylic, but they look like crackle, like frosted crackle glass. That's cool. Thank you. I love this. Love this guy. He's so big and beautiful. 
And somebody told me those striations in the crystal mean that it's really high quality crystal. So, because I had asked that in one of my unboxing videos. Thank you. Here's another bead mix and it has a name on it and it's called Rain Charmer Beads, which is in Phoenix and I, I've i never heard of it. So I'll have to see if that's still um, a place that's open. It's a huge mix. Let me pour out some of it. Looks really nice. I love the colors. I don't even know if that's just a bag that you use, Jenny, and then that didn't even have anything to do with them, but it seems like it's a really nice mix. Ugh, look at those desert colors. I'm loving these. These are acrylic, but they look like gemstones because of the striations and the marbling. Oh, wow, this guy's a cool shape. You guys, I love this. I love these. I don't have anything like those. And then I think, yeah, these are glass. We've got some nice gray glass. This is a great mix. We've got some acrylic uh, briolettes. Um, yeah, most of these are acrylic, but these are glass, and they're just really nice. They're like high-quality acrylic beads, too. Because there's a difference. We all know there's a difference, right? <laughs> these are beautiful. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, there's a nice weird shape here, too. It's like a, another top-drilled pendant-looking one. He's cool. I love that color. It's like a pear or a sage or something. Very neat. Thank you. Next we have um, it's a, a mix of drop gemstones and glass from Fire Mountain Gems. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, these are nice. These are cool. I can use these. Uh, well, they are drilled, but I can also use them with polymer clay. Um, as cabochons, you just need to cover up the hole. These are nice. Oh, of course I like this one. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Those are really nice. I love those. And those are really good for like a nice, simple necklace. Or you could put this on top of um, like another pendant or something. Hang it in front of another pendant. Those are really neat. And then here we have um, just an acrylic mix, a big bag of acrylic mix. I've actually, I think I saw these at Hobby Lobby and I passed them a couple times. I was like, oh, I could get those. And then I, I for some reason I, I did, didn't did get them, but I'm glad I did. And I'm glad Jenny sent them because they're so colorful and fun. I can see these being um, nice accent beads to a larger, you know, gemstone piece. You know, you, you can mix acrylic with gemstones. It's not against the law. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I have fun. I have fun mixing things. Somebody asked in my Facebook group today. Oh, sorry. There's a goldie hair here. Um, today, you know, how how do you mix beads like that? And I, just, I, I just really just usually decide my color palette or if I have a bead that, a specific bead that I really, really want to use. And then I go from there. I, I try not to hold myself back and just make something all gemstones or all crystals. I really just look at the colors and how the design and shapes fit together. Um, let's see, what do we have? Oh, are these polymer clay? Yeah, so looks like some of these are her beads. Let's see, oh wow, look at this pendant, and it's yellow. I don't know if she's been listening, but I've been on a yellow kick lately. Look at how beautiful that is. Good job, Jenny. That is really lovely, and it's got two bales in the back, and um, it's like marbleized. Oh, this is really pretty. And she glazed it. And then not only did she send that, she sent these handmade beads to coordinate. Look at those. And they're all, um, they're all sealed too. That's a really cool color palette. And that, not one that I probably would have come up with, but I love it. I love all those yellows together. Thank you, that's so pretty, and that beautiful AB crystal in the middle, mm, yummy, 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 yummy. You guys, I posted in my bead group today that I almost ate my beads by accident the other day because I, I, I was opening a bag of beads from the mail, of course, because that's what I do. And I had some, uh, like a little bowl of snacks next to it, and I, um, I grabbed my beads instead, and I almost needed to go to the dentist because I almost ended up in my mouth. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh, she sent these nice ceramic beads. Oh, these are so cute. Those are so cute. I don't have those. Thanks. Those are really cute. They're like a nice periwinkle. They're really, I can't tell if they're blue or purple. <laughs> they're just a really nice dark periwinkle. Those are so cute. 
Uh oh, I heard Goldie squeaking her toy. And then, oh, these are her polymer clay beads. Look at those. Nice lentils, silver and purple and translucent. Those are so much fun. These make fantastic earrings. They look like little purple planets. I've made a few lentils. You have to have patience, Jenny. Those are really nice. <laughs> um, here we go. Oh, these are like some cabochons. Oh, here comes Goldie. So I love it. People show me their art. Look at that. It looks like dichroic glass. Wow, she sent a bunch of these. My goodness, they're so pretty. I, you could almost like put them on a collar necklace and bead around them too. These are lovely. She sent like 10 of them. These are gorgeous and they're all one of a kind. Oh, look at how orange next to the purple. Those are so pretty. Those are sparkly. Oh my gosh, that one's green and orange. Wow. Those are lovely. Wow, those are really nice, Jenny. Um, next is, ooh. These are kind of, these are really neat. So we've got some lentils in black and white. Very nice. And then these look like um, faux African beads to me with that crazy checkerboard color. Or they could be like 1950s-ish or like racing even. <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> these are really cool. I would probably pair those with some African beads. Oh, I love them. I love them. So cute. Goldie's looking at me like, Mom, I want you to play with me. Well, Mom's playing with beads, Gold. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These are so sweet. <gasps> okay, guys. These are adorable. There are two different styles in here. The first one are these little flowers. These are beads. These are true artisan beads. Oh my gosh, she painted the little flowers. And then we have um, some starfish beads. And then there's, you know, decoration. These are one-sided, but they're still really pretty. <gasps> and then she sent me like a handful of them. That's great. These are wonderful and they're my favorite colors, green and turquoise. <gasps> oh, look, there's different flower, right? Oh, there, oh my goodness, there's a birdie. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. My mom love, loves cardinals, and um, I just think that's so cute. Oh, starfish. These are so sweet. These are wonderful. Thank you. Okay, next we have some more. Oh my gosh, I actually made beads that look almost identical to this color pattern. I wonder if I could go find them. I know, they're, I know kind of where they are, but I don't know <laughs> exactly where they are. These are so amazing. Look at these. They're pink, hot pink and green. A couple different greens. So they're beautiful leaves. Wow. And then we have a lentil here. And then um, some of these are drops too. I don't think they're just leaves. Or is it a heart? No. Yeah. Oh, it is a leaf. Okay. That is really nice. Good job, Jenny. Those are beautiful. I love that colored palette. And then we have very similar leaves. I'm going to move these to the side. Very similar, just a different color palette. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful too. I mean, I, I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> She's a, an artist. Look at these. Guys, my artisan bead collection is like exploding because you guys are so talented. <gasps> Look at this little drop. The only sad thing is I'll never have enough time to use all of them. Although hoarding and bit jewelry making are two different. Uh, hobbies. <laughs> so I will be very happy to hoard these. These are gorgeous. I don't know which ones are my favorite. I don't think I have to have a favorite. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful those are. Thank you. Okay. So I got halfway through the box. I actually don't know if I'm halfway through the box, but I found a card. <laughs> I felt bad. I was like, oh no, I found it. So I want to 
um, acknowledge they found a card and it says, oh, for a super friend. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is adorable. She used stickers and she drew on it too. And I don't know if she painted the stickers or not, but this is adorable. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Jenny. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Jenny. That's so sweet. Um, okay, so I'm going through, I'm going through. What do we have here? Oh, we have some, is it strands? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my favorite colors. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my goodness. I have beads that I've made that will coordinate with these. So look at these. So we have these purple, blue, and um, green and gold leaf leaves. So I have um, purple, blue, and green, and purple, turquoise, and green beads, like round beads that will match these. And she sent quite a few of these. My goodness, you are busy. <laughs> you are very busy. These are so beautiful. Wow, gosh, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Those are stunning. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, she told me about these beads. So they're like giraffe beads is what she calls them. And I think I agree. Look at these fantastic, fun little guys. Hold on one second. They have like a giraffe pattern and like a nice safari color palette. What else did she send? She sent um, some, I think these are little, oh, these are little chips. They're acrylic chips. Okay, let me open them because it's sealed. So, oh, those are fantastic. These little chips, uh, acrylic chips look great next to these beads. Look at those. Those are fantastic. They make me so happy. <laughs> I just get, I get so giddy when I see new things and, um, when I see, you know, people worked really hard to make something one of a kind and it's just amazing. And now I'm looking for the rest of this bag because I got so excited to find the scissors and put aside the bag that had the yellow beads in it and now I can't find it. <laughs> so, oh, here we go. Okay, so there was, there were also some other, I mean, there were several of these um, giraffe beads in there, but we also got these orange, oh my gosh, that's such a cool color. Uh, combo cream orange yellow gold <gasps> oh my god I love those they're giving me like ice cream vibes and then she made some um, flower marguerites those are so cool so neat my gosh and it's a big bag guys like I, I can't I'm, I'll, I can dump out all of them, but I'll just be cleaning them up for a while. Um, and then we have this guy who's like textured. I just love these handmade artisan beads. I just love them. I, I don't care what anybody says. I just love unique textured eclectic beads. They're just, they make me so happy. They make me so happy. Okay, so another one. Oh my gosh, Jenny, these are so lovely. And I post in my bead group when I make some too. So I, I just love everybody gets these great ideas and it makes it their own. Like I've ne I would never think to put these colors together, but it is giving me all sorts of happy vibes right now. And then there's still a whole bag full. My gosh, you spoiled me, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, she calls this the giraffe mix. That's right on the bag. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. That's probably going to be the picture for the video, maybe. <laughs> we don't know what else is in this bag. So, all right, let me clean these up. I'll be right okay. back. Okay, so, oh, here's another bag. And I, I know I've mentioned this before. I have so many, this week I have a new song stuck in my head and I can't remember if it's Luther, Luther Vandross song or a Barry White song. <laughs> I'll have to look it up and I'll put it in here. But, oh my gosh, it's going through my mind right now. These are blue, they're all blue, it's a blue mix. So let's see, we have some snail beads. I made a couple of these and actually they're really similar to this, but mine had a little bit of green in them. But these are so cute. Oh, some just pair, like denim, yeah, this is like a denim blue, so neat. And then we've got chunkier um, stripes on these. Those are so much fun. And then she sent a whole bag. Those are so great. These are so much fun. I love those snail beads. They're so fun to make. You know, real life really gets in the way of me making beads. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Okay, what do we have here? We have, oh, some glittery gold beads. Glittery gold and brown. Oh, yummy. They look like, they kind of remind me of like yummy, um, like desserts, like brownies, but gold. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, but they're so pretty. These would be beautiful accent beads with some gemstones. <sighs> they're so beautiful. Next, in the same bag, we have, what is this? what is it are they bracelets I think they are bracelets oh my gosh I wonder if Jenny made these bracelets <gasps> with cute little oh she does a fantastic barrel knot that's for sure cute little buttons and charms these are really a sweet there we go those are cute they're very nice stackers oh just a ring with some turquoise and some pearls very cute. Thank you, Jenny. Those are really sweet. I like those. Oh, you, could, you have some good barrel knots. <laughs> and then we have um, oh, a pair of earrings that got stuck. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so this is a mix. Let me pour them out here. This is a wild mix. This is like a candy. Like, those look like candy. I would for sure use these for Halloween because they look like... Um, candy corn colors but you have the purple from Halloween too like these are fantastic those just remind me of like a circus like having fun and then she included two pairs or a pair of earrings too that's how she's incorporated them those are cool those are cool see this is why people say like I'm good with color but other people choose way different color schemes than I would and they work I just love it I love it they're so cool my goodness there's still stuff in this bag guys <laughs> um and it never fails. Every single time I have some kind of friend mail, I miss one thing and then find it two days later. I'm like, oh, dang. Um, these are cool. These are a neat color combo that I don't have too. So it's like um, plum and maroon and beige. And then there's a little bit of sparkle in there too. So we have some uh, lentil beads. We have some flower um, patterned beads. These are so neat. Again, that's just not a color combo I would think of on my own, but it works. It's so beautiful. And it looks like that would look really nice with Mookite too, for sure. Lovely. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. So it looks like I'm in a bag that's not handmade, which is fine, but I, you know, I love those handmade beads and I think I saw some more handmade beads in the bag or box. So I'm going to stick with this bag first. Um, I'm seeing some closures, some, uh, so those are some ribbon crimps. Um, hold on, I will open those in just a moment. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are cute little crystals. Let me pour them into a little dish here. <gasps> I think I have something very similar to these, if not these, but they're really cute. They're white crystals, but they have like a pink flower pattern on the inside those are so sweet those are pretty oh my gosh that could you could use that for like wedding jewelry too those are really pretty and then here we have some three hole spacers so neat so you can keep your three strand necklaces or bracelets or even earrings um, straight I haven't used anything like that in a while And then uh, some copper wide ribbon. <laughs> I was gonna say ribbon. Um, ribbon crimps. Oh, there's a couple different sizes in here. Very nice. Thank you. We all know those finishing touches are really what make your jewelry, and sometimes you forget about them, right? <laughs> Until you're ready to to make something, you don't have it. That's when I remember. Um, what do we have here? What are these? What are these? It says, um, oh, fine crimp tube, GLP with loop. Okay, let's see. Those are neat. You put, oh, okay, you put your wire in there and use that as your crimp. <gasps> I don't have any of those. Those are really nice. Thanks, Jenny. 
Oh, I don't want to drop them. <laughs> you know me. I am known for dropping stuff on camera. Um, and then here we have some little bales. They're like little boot, little, little um, silver spacer beads with loops. So you can put them on um, your necklace or your, your bracelet and put a charm or a drop or something. Those are really neat. I love those. Oh, we have some more of those crystals, but they're a different color. Oh, a little purple and green mix here. So that's sweet. So, oh gosh. Guys, if you watched my last video, you know I'm fighting my lighting these days. And I don't know why. It just changed all of a sudden. So we have those crystals with some flowers on the inside. And then a couple purple. Uh, two different purples. So neat. Love those. And then um, we have, oh, what are these? Oh, you know what? I think I, I don't, I don't think I have these specifically, but I have something that would coordinate with them. They're like a um, nice dyed gemstone in an ombre, blue to light blue. Love that. Nice, thank you. Okay, next we have, oh, some copper jump rings, and, oh, and copper clasps. Very nice. Those are some nice. These are nice for um, keychains too. Love those. And they're not gonna, you know, fall apart on you. Those are really nice with some big, thick gauge jump rings. You guys have said that you liked my keychain, so if I can think of more ideas for keychains, I'll for sure keep making them. But I gotta come up with the ideas first. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, what do we have here? Oh, these are handmade. She made these. Okay, some little pink flowers. They're so cute. Look at those. Those are so adorable. I love them. Oh my goodness. Those are so sweet. Those would be perfect for spring or Mother's Day. Oh, we have some um, chips, I think. I think these are aventurine. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. And then I'm seeing some ball chains. So make some cute quick necklaces with ball chains. Oh, it's not open, but I'll leave that um, closed. That's cool. I haven't used ball chains in a minute. Ooh, some really nice bead caps. These are so cute. These are so cute. You can make your own tassels. You can use these for purse charms. I love that. You can use them as cord ends too because um, if you have a multi-strand necklace, you can pull them up into the cone, um, which I did on a couple of my videos. Oh, some like magnesite or halite drops. Oops, sorry. Oh, we're having um, technical f malfunctions here with my lights. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are real sick of hearing that. These are really cute. Oh my gosh, I don't have any like this size in that shape. Um, oh, and there's a little guy here. He's almost, this is a glass one. He snuck in there. Or nope, that's acrylic one. He snuck in there. Cute, cute, I love those. Oh, some so some like crystals mixed in with an, a gemstone almost, I think. Yeah, so these are like those blue beads, and then we have some crystal bicones too. These are nice. These are pretty. I wonder what that is. Like maybe agate or something. Very nice. I love that color combo. That's a nice pink, nice tone of pink. Okay, and then a couple more things in that bag. Oh, and some more ball chains. Oh, and these are these are shorter. I mean, obviously you can um, mix them all or you know hook them all together, but these you can make fan pulls from polymer clay or any beads you want. Really, um, those would be nice for fan pulls or keychains. 
have to kind of be careful that it wouldn't come undone if it was a keychain. And then she also included some, huh, okay, these are really cool. I don't think I have any of these. So Jenny's helping my habit <laughs> and she's gonna get you guys some new keychain videos because she's giving me some cool keychain ideas. These are neat, look at that. I've never seen a keychain like that before. So I'm guessing your key goes on there and then your charm goes on here. I don't know. I think you could do whatever you want though, to be honest. These are cool, those are neat. Those are neat. Those kind of seem a little steampunky too. Very cool. So that was that bag. I'm gonna clean that up. And then I think we have one more bag in here. Oh no, I'm coming to the end. I'm so sad. <laughs> and then, um, so let me clean these up. I'll be right back. So we're in the last bag and it looks like it's a mix of handmade and um, not handmade. <laughs> uh, these are some cord ends. There's a huge bag of them. And then um, it's actually two different colors. So we have this lighter sil silver that I just pulled out and then a darker silver. I'm trying to see if I can get it untaped to get a couple out. Oh, I got one out. Yeah, you can see one's gunmetal and one is lighter silver. Thank you, those are really cool. Those are really neat. So these are perfect for using with um, polymer clay. You, I've also used them in the past, um, obviously with scrapbooking stuff, but uh, I've used them on necklaces when I use fabric. So um, I eventually wanna get back and show you guys some, some of the fabric necklaces that I've made before, but eyelets are really helpful for those. I've never used that style, I've used just scrapbooking eyelets, but these are pretty cool. And she sent them in a couple colors. You can, you can use these to keep beads open um, for polymer clay, for wide hole polymer clay beads. I love those. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, these are awesome. See how bright those are? They're purple, 18 gauge purple jump rings. Those are fantastic. Holy mama. Look how bright those are. I love them. Yummy. Those, are, those look great with some of the beads she sent. <gasps> Ooh, these are really nice. Some nice bead caps, like a whole bag of them. They're kind of flattened. These look a little southwesty to me. I love them. You can patina those too and get some color into the, the recesses. Those are really neat. Those are really neat. You could, I've seen something some, similar to that on tassels too. So she sent a whole bag. So nice. So nice. Oh, look at these little sewing scissors in a um, a package. Let me see if I can get that open. Cute little, my mom's a quilter. I can make her something with those. So cute, little quilter earrings. Those are adorable. Ooh, some nice um, bezels. Use those with polymer clay. You can use them with resin, paper crafting, so many different things. I'm, use, I'm putting, I've been organizing and I've been putting my bezels over with my polymer clay though. Um, ooh, some crystals, purple, like a wine. Can't really see this, the colors, but it's a wine. It's showing up kind of brown, but it's definitely nice crystal rondelles. Oh, she sent two of those. And then, ooh, a bag of like a mix, crystal mix here. Hold on one second. So I'm thinking these are possibly Jesse James beads because I've seen these before. Um, we have some acrylic, metal coated acrylic, but they're still really nice. These are really nice focals. And then a nice big boy bead, a nice crystal. Mm, you know, I love that color combo right there. And then an acrylic shiny sparkly sugar bead is what I call those. I don't know what the name is, but I call them sugar beads. And then, oh, oh, these are fantastic. These are awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. I know they look fantastic in the, in the camera, but they're so yummy. They are so, so yummy in person. Look at the striations in there too. Oh my gosh, that is just, it makes me so happy. It's my favorite color combo. It's that, that mystic color. <gasps> makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jenny. Those are so beautiful. 
and then um what else is in this bag gosh the bag never ends <laughs> this is an awesome thing so smaller those um, same crystals but smaller um, and I'm trying to save the handmade beads to the end so there's a couple different ty types in this bag um, we have some metal what are these what are these we've got to see what it says here setting drop pewter with oval what does that mean so maybe these are spacers for maybe a couple strands or something that's interesting those are really cool and they almost look like jump rings are these soldered though yeah they're soldered so there are three different colors. We have, oh, four different colors because there's a different silver in there as well. Let's see if we can get that to come out. Yeah. Neat. Thank you. I'll have to figure out what to use those with. Those are interesting. I love things that like you kind of kind of make you think a little bit. And then we have these rings. Stopper beads, 20 pieces. These are really nice oh oh that's cool do you I think you put these on leather there's rubber in the middle I don't know if you guys can see that I'll have to figure out how to use those I'll have to look those up and then figure out how to use them because they're they're very cool and I love the feel of them they're very um, soft very smooth smooth is the word I was looking for not soft <laughs> and then um, I'm seeing some more handmade beads so um, we have like a pink mix oh my goodness my goodness let's put them out here look at all these guys That looks like candy, doesn't it? Oh, and this one is candy. Oh, oh wait, no. I think that was just a little piece that was in with them. I thought it looked like a lollipop, but oh, it's like pearlized purple, fuchsia, hot pink, white, silver. Mm, these are so yummy. Oh my gosh, these are so yummy. I should do like a bracelet blitz and send a bunch of friend mail out of finished bracelets. Those are so yummy. Doesn't that just look like a pile of happiness? My goodness. Oh my gosh. It just looks, it looks, I wanna eat it. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, I wanna eat it. So um, we have two more baggies here. Let me clean these up. Okay, then next we have a green mix. Mm, yummy, green and gold. You guys know I love green. Oh, okay, and then up close, they're actually several different colors, not just green. So we have pink and periwinkle and lime and gold. <gasps> That's a wonderful um, color combination, like nice marbled colors. Ugh, I love these. These would look really good with some gemstones too. Um, I'm trying to think what, like, maybe even sodalite these would look, oh, pink from before. I missed a couple when I cleaned them up. Um, Sodalite or even the um, blue mix that she sent now that it's, it's buried on my desk. But these would look really cool just interspersed with some gemstones. Lovely. Oh, those are so pretty. Okay. And last but not least, oh, there's a little, oh, there's some handmade jewelry in here too. So we have a really cute baby pink mix that looks kind of like rose gold almost like the same color family as rose gold so i could use that with i'm sorry not rose gold come on Brittany. rose quartz so i can use this with some um darker pink rose quartz these would be really pretty oh gosh look at that so she used several different clay colors pearl translucent silver foil she made them into beautiful heart-shaped leaves my goodness so talented it takes, it takes patience to sit there and make this many beads. It really does. Sometimes I get like halfway through a stack of beads. I'm like, nope, done. Don't want to do this anymore. So <laughs> I totally get it. Um, and then she made these beautiful pieces of jewelry. So what do we have here? Oh, we have some charms. Oh, we have a pair of earrings. 
I am almost certain that my mom will fall in love with these earrings. And oh, oh you know what? In in transit, I think one of the charms fell off of here. It's got a music note. My sister loves music. And then this one, one of the charms fell off, but that's an easy fix. I can just scooch them back on there. That, that mail can really get you. So those are so sweet. Thank you for sending me earrings that you made, Jenny. These are so pretty. You are so talented. Thank you so much for just sharing your art with me, sharing parts of your stash with me. They're gorgeous. Everything you sent, I love. And I will put it to good use. Um, I'm gonna include Jenny's information right here. And then I will also include her information in the description below. I hope you guys reach out if you saw some beads that you like. Um, let her know. She's she's such a nice artist and she's sweet too. I just really love talking to her. So anyway, thanks so much. Everybody have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope you stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Good morning.